Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Time. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Yes, sir. So TNT. Yo. I know that uh, you were not the best with movie quotes because you didn't watch a lot of the same <laughs> movies that... that uh... No, I'm bad at it. So I was curious, what do you think is like one of the most... like? well-known movie quotes that like anybody would know even people like you who don't have a lot of quotes in their in their you know their bag what movie quotes do i if, if i was gonna say to you say a movie quote what what movie quote would pop in your head what would be the first thing you would think of uh it's like it's both ours but we just keep it at my house uh, how you gonna get fired? That is. How you gonna get fired on your day off? It's both of ours, but we just keep it at my. I don't know if that one is. That's I know how you gonna get fired on your day off. Same movie. Oh, bye, Felicia. But, oh yeah. So, so you're just okay. you're just pulling out Friday <laughs> quotes now. Okay. Uh, you're the all singing, all dancing crap of the world. Oh, that's uh, that's Fight Club. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about this one? What? I'll be back. Okay. I think fair. that's one of yeah. like the most. Okay. I think like you could say that to almost anyone. And they would know. Maybe what you're talking about. I don't know if the if the if the uh, Gen Zers are gonna know that one, but yeah. yeah, yeah, most millennials will know that. Another one that comes to mind: life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah, I don't know if most Gen Zers would know that. Gen Zers have not seen these movies. These movies mean a lot to us, I guess. Run, Forest, Run. That one Gen Zers may know, but they just like I heard it from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom says that all the time. Why does my mom call me Forrest? <laughs> my dad jokes around, calls Say me hello Forrest. to my little friend. I see. I, I know the quote, but I don't know who said it. Isn't that uh? <laughs> isn't that Raging Bull guy? No, it's Al Pacino and Scarface. <clears throat> but isn't that the same guy? No, uh, Robert De Niro was in Raging Bull. Okay, well, they're basically know. the same person from the nineties. They but different. Are same person. <laughs> Them and Joe Pesci are all the same person. To and me. Uh, uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. One ring to rule them all. Nah, maybe, maybe. I feel like those movies didn't age quite as well either. I mean, they're super long, and I don't. I feel like there's there's definitely a fan base for those movies. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm trying to get you to go and see uh, God dang Avatar with me. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Five hours later, I heard it's a beautiful scene, Jonas. I bet. I bet it is. It is a feast for the eyes. Yeah, I don't care about the my movie. Eyes. May be subpar, but it's a feast. Visual, it's a visual orgasm. It, exactly. It's not about the destination, Jeremy. This is about the journey, and the journey through the visual smorgasbord that has been set out by Cameron. our Lord and Savior Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, there was another <laughs> movie that name? came out uh, recently. Cameron? That I was like, oh, I probably would go see that. And then I saw it was like three hours and four minutes. And I was like, what the? F and why are we watching three hour movies? Okay, look, it's three hours and 15 minutes, first off. No, no, there's a different movie that's oh. three hours and four minutes. Okay, okay. I thought it was three hours and 40 minutes. No, no, no. Avatar is three hours, 15 minutes runtime. Uh, cause I wanted to, I was going to, when I wanted to ask you to go and see it, I wanted to make sure that you knew what you were getting into. Oh, I knew already. I already knew. I didn't even see the first Avatar, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a crap. But uh, but Kurt Cameron. Was it Left, left Behind? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? J James Cameron. James Cameron! <laughs> You know a movie I kind of want to see What's that? that it's it's totally like not like if I t I think you're probably going to be like really? Knives Out. Well, I did want to see that, but I was in Ohio where there was no uh, limited release of anything. Oh, we no, rented. Uh it's on Netflix. I don't have Netflix. That's how it's only. It was a one week Netflix movie in the theater. It was the first time Netflix ever put a movie in the theater, and they did a limited release for one week. Really? And they also afterwards were like, "Yeah, Netflix could have made a shitload more money on this movie if they would have put it out for like a month because people were going. It made it made like a hundred million dollars or something in in a limited release. So they'll probably re release it. They might, yeah. Which yeah. I I would watch it because um, the first one was good. Um, yeah. So eventually I'll figure it out. Or I'll I never saw the first one. It was really good. It's it's like a murder mystery, but like new, more current. It's like, like it's like Clue. No, um, kind of, but in different. It's not about murder. Basically, what happens is, like the patriarch or the matriarch of the of the family dies, 
and all the family comes together and they're like and of course there's like a fortune and all this stuff but like okay, okay, okay. but i think he died under weird circumstances so then like daniel craig comes in he's the detective oh and do talking, love me some daniel yeah, craig and he's talking to everybody and like whatever and they and they come it's a mystery they figure out like who did whatever okay, okay, to whatever okay. yeah, yeah. Um, but not quite as goofy as clue more like but anyway so it's a new one look good um but I want to go see The Whale with Brandon Fraser. I've heard good things about that movie. I saw the trailer. It looks very, like, depressing and drama. But, yeah. like, it looks like it's a good movie, dude. I kind of want to see yeah. it. I've like, heard good things about it, too. Yeah, so it's not playing at the one down the street. I have to drive, like, a couple miles to go see oh, it. Oh, so. man. I hate I hate that, dude. Because yeah. if the movie isn't, like, right around the corner from me, I don't know if I'm going to. I got to drive 10 minutes over there. F uh, that ass, yeah. dude. Not all so. about that. But yeah, dude, I love. I, I really like going to see movies. I uh, like eating popcorn. I'll what? Give you that. I, I like... want to eat the popcorn. But dude, I don't yeah. want Avatar. Looks dumb. <laughs> Listen, it just looks dumb. It doesn't look dumb. It the story's dumb. There's like, are the, they the sea look creatures? of it? Is what are they? Are they sea creatures? Are they jungle bound? Like, are they sea creatures? <laughs> they're, like they, they're sea monkeys. <laughs> yeah, are they like the sea monkeys? Around? It's like no, little sea brine monkeys are shrimp. shrimp, aren't they? Isn't that what they are? Yeah, they're like brine shrimp or something. Um, there's, I actually watched like a, uh, a short documentary about the, the s history of sea monkeys and it was like some dark stuff going on. There's what? Like, tell me, tell me. I want to know. I don't remember much of it. We should look apparently, it up the like, next episode on that. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's crazy, but apparently like, uh, sea monkeys were like, some of them were alive when you, uh, when you poured them in or something and some of them were dead already. I don't remember, but oh, it was like, they they're basically just taking you for your money. What is which the we story knew. of uh, Avatar? What's it about? Like it's like, it's Fern Gully, man. This is, this is land before time. I don't know. It's freaking. Okay. So every, every Avatar has been the same. It's like, oh, uh, there's only been even, two. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> it's the same, same characters. Of course. It's, it's, like, the, it's well, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, so it's like, you know, evil corporation comes in and wants to destroy the forest so they can get this, uh, material out of the ground. In the first movie, it was something called unobtainium. Oh my god! I'll let you. I'll let that well, sink at least in. That's, at least that's original. I'll let that sink in. Elon Musk, and, <laughs> and it was just like, and it, so it's more the same. Of the evil corporation comes in to try to get some nutrient out of the ground, and the people who live there, they're like, no, the forest is our home. We're one with nature. Is that really what it's about? Yes. Why the hell? Why would I want to go see that? Because it's a beautiful to see. You fall in love with their fake world, so then you feel like you like join their little thing to jonas it is a sight to behold what is the site that he he animated things <laughs> yeah it shows you see the first avatar was one of the first inductions of a multi-million dollar cgi film and it was beautiful and for the time it had some very very uh Top of the line. Top of the line, I guess. Yeah, top of the line CGI. Like the equivalent of like the Matrix for Matrix this time. Like it was like that, but it was all animated. And yeah, and yeah. I mean, that, yeah, and Avatar came out before the Matrix too, right? No, I think it came out after. Well, whatever. Still, it was a beautiful movie to look at. This one even pushes those standards even further when it comes to visuals. So it looks great, but this, the story ain't the best. It's not the best story. There's some character flaws that people have been like, you know, I really hate the fact that the kids are stupid and they do the same stupid thing over and over again. I already know. Kids, I mean, kids are stupid. Though. Thank you. <laughs> wait, so wait, what's the what's the flaw in the story that everyone's I, I don't, stupid? I don't know. I haven't gotten that deep into. It. I never spoil movies for myself, but I do listen to reviews just to see what people found annoying, so I can be like, yeah, hey, okay, this is annoying. Yeah, when I, get I didn't there. get to go see the menu either because I was. Mm. Out of I want to see that. That was a, a, th a psychological. All these thrill. movies are probably available on some s free streaming service that we not have. Yeah, dude. I mean, not free, but I mean, you know. For yeah, rent. yeah. Got to pay for a monthly subscription. Or like you could shit. probably rent a bunch of these movies over YouTube. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but if I want to pay twenty bucks, I ain't renting a movie for twenty bucks at home. What movies do you guys at home? What movies do you guys want to see? Leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, comment it up. Tell me you want to see uh, Debbie Does Dallas too. That's a good one. Is it? Way better than the first one. Yeah? Remake. Yeah. All right. She gets a burn in her saddle. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Speaking of burns and saddles, go to thecrazyhound.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.